sissy. Hey. Uh, you, you, you went to buy more drinks? Where are you coming from? Why are you sweating? <laughs> Fucking, God, it's hot, it's noisy in there. God. You smell. Yeah, I've been, I've been cleaning all night. You smell like sex, Wes. No, I'm just dirty, I'm just dirty, babe. Is there a girl in that staircase? Uh, yes or no? Wes. No. What? You don't trust me? You don't open the door? Ceci, if you open that door, you declare today, right here, right now, that you do not trust me. Wes. No, no matter how suspicious, how ridiculous, you do not trust me. Open it! Love recklessly, right? Are you mad at me? Are you kidding? Hold on. Talk to me. I don't want to talk to you. I read your article. Then why are you acting like this? I defended you. You basically said Mingo's right to free speech trumps my need to have a safe space on campus. Come on, college isn't supposed to be a safe space. The whole reason we're here is to be challenged intellectually. I'm not talking about intellectual safety, Daphne. For you, this is all just some fun academic debate but I'm talking about my emotional safety. What do you mean? Everywhere I go on campus, I have to be on guard. I have to put on this, like this armor to protect me from stuff you don't see. Like what? Like when I woke up to find a little tiny drawing of the Confederate flag on my door. Like, when a frat guy told us their party was for hot girls only, but they really met white girls. Like when my geology professor made a joke about savages and looked right at me. Oh my God. Or like the other night, when I got home and my RA was making fun of black people. I was... The dorm is my home, it's where I sleep, it's the place I'm supposed to be able to take off that armor. But you're moving out because one guy wore something that upset you? No, I'm moving out because that guy was my RA, the person who's supposed to protect me. And there's nothing I can do about it. I'm tired of not having a voice. And I can't live in a place that doesn't even ask black kids how they feel when there's a race issue on the table. I had no idea. Well, now you do. Who the hell are you? Who the hell are you? Daisy. Dahlia. This is the AAA. Ashley, Amber, and Amantha. Sorry, albinos can't drink from this fountain. You're so pale. You look like a vampire. Do you need a transfusion? You should be in the next Twilight movie because your skin looks like a dead vampire. I got it. My tan's not good enough for you guys. It's not your tan, it's you. We don't like you because you're new. Oh. 
I used to make fun of new people too. Just ask Tessa. Maybe one day you'll get transferred and then you'll know what it feels like to be the odd biatch out. Biatch. I miss my old school. Hey you. So I was cleaning up my closet and found this. You must have left it at our last movie night. Whatever. Could you pass me the towel? Swimming solo, that's a first. Aren't you supposed to be with your friends? They have plans. Hmm. <laughs> Look, I like you, Char. Always have. But eventually you're gonna get hurt. Because once Sutton decides she's over you, she's over you. I don't think Sutton hates you as much as you think she does. Well, I don't know. I know you have this whole conspiracy theory about us, but Mads and I never set out to replace you with Sutton's best friend. You know what? I'm over it. <laughs> well, don't act all blameless. You've done plenty of stuff to us, Mads included. Like lying, backstabbing, acting all sneaky. Oh, I'm sneaky? I'm not the one who's having an affair with my ballet teacher. I'm sure she already told you. You guys are all best buds. Marie, I was wondering if this is your headscarf. I noticed that you wear one. It might be. Yes. OK. We found it at the house next door where Christopher Perez was killed. I accidentally left it at that house. I don't know Christopher Perez. I was there to see Kevin. Kevin Hensler? Yes. He used to live there before the bank took it away. He came back to help me. How is it that you came to work with Mrs. Olson? My family's in Haiti. Mrs. Olson told my mother that she would send me to school in exchange for housekeeping. But all I do is cook and clean. I'm not even allowed to read my Bible. Susan Jones is going to prom with Jeff Smith. I knew she liked him. Oh, Donna's going with Aaron Taylor. I mean, who saw that coming? What's wrong? Everyone's talking prom dates, but for me, it's, you know, no point in going. A preacher's daughter who likes girls kind of doesn't work. I see what you mean. But proms are special, Stacey. You really shouldn't miss it. Well, there is a girl in our class who's kind of cute. Hawkins? Kelly's sort of free, you know. I mean, word is she's dated girls before. Why not go for it? Because even if that were true, who knows if she would like me? Why wouldn't she? I don't know. Just drop it, okay?